Hey guys, it's Kenzie Ziegler. I'm Emily Skinner. I'm Divinity Perkins. I'm Darius Marcel. And I'm Lauren Orlando, coming to you all the way from Canada. And after five unforgettable seasons of Total Eclipse, we're all here today to answer some of your questions. And some people couldn't make it today, but they're here in spirit. I can't believe it's already been five seasons. I know. Let's get started, guys. <laughs> okay, first question. This is from at Shine Skinner, and they write, for the whole cast, what do you like most about your character and what is the biggest challenge you found in your characters? I love you all so much and I'm proud of how talented you all are. Thank you so much. We love you too. We love you too. Um, I loved Cassie a lot. I think she's super cool. Um, it was really awesome that at the beginning of season one, she had no confidence. And then at the end of season five, she was like fully developed into a really cool character. But it was a little hard to play her just because, I mean, all of you guys know I have a lot of energy and I'm always like talking to people. I'm so social and Cassie's, and Cassie's literally just like, <laughs> so that was a struggle, but it was really cool to play her. And I, I love her as a character, especially when she was an astronaut. Oh, <laughs> that was her and her true Fun fact, form. couldn't breathe in that costume. <laughs> it was like fog up. <laughs> um, well, yeah, Diana was really interesting because she was super mean at first. And then you see her, like she had a lot going on. She like, lost all of her confidence and got super sad and then she got like anxiety and started pulling her hair out and then like she gained her confidence but she got all stressed out about school and stuff so she definitely had a lot going on but and, and then she was like a normal person and then she was normal five. and like had friends character development yeah the hardest part about playing diana was probably first of all being mean to you guys because <laughs> i would laugh every single time i looked at you like we i could trip would. you like seven times in the first season every scene i would trip kenzie um, and then also when she got really anxious because I had to cry like the entire season. We'd go home after set and she'd just be like, I have the biggest headache because I've been crying all day. I was so exhausted. <laughs> I would say that my favorite part about Kate is probably just how she isn't afraid to be herself. So I'm trying to talk about the things that I'm into, which are spells and crystals. She has her own very specific style and interests and she doesn't try and change those to fit in with everyone else, which I think is really cool. And I would say that the hardest part about playing Kate is just probably the emotional scenes because I'll be hanging out with my friends and we'll all be super happy. But then in the next scene, like once once they say action, we have to be like crying or shouting, just super upset or super sad. And I would say that those are the hardest scenes for me to get into. So that would probably be the biggest challenge. I would say for my character, Morgan, I feel like I relate a little bit with it because uh, in the season one, season two, Emily, her character, I feel like she was a little bit mean and got Morgan got like pushed over a lot. But then she kind of found her place in the school. She like started selling stuff. Became a business things, woman. You know? a business woman. Yeah. I'm all about business these days. I feel like she, she gained confidence and like that's that's something that I can relate to 100%. So I'd say Morgan's a powerful, a powerful girl. And I, I thought, like, I thought her. your character made the show so funny because it literally, your character was you in season five, like how you oh, would react to oh, everything. Yeah. She'd be like, oh no, I'm not doing that. And it was just like, everything you said, I was like, I could, that's like Devin. Like I can see you saying that. And it made it so funny. Yeah, I think my favorite part about uh, playing Spencer was, well, I just feel like I related to him so, same way Divinity relates to Morgan. He was just so very sweet and wasn't really all that negative, to be honest. And I really thought he was just a positive outlook on the show. He's like that positive side, always brought some bright side to it. Uh, my favorite thing about him is how how just heartfelt he was about like just the things he was passionate about. He's passionate about inventing and creating stuff and he's creative and I like to be creative too. And then he was also just so love struck about a girl and he just won her love back and I thought that was really sweet as well. And it was kinda it was kinda nice to get to see him get like get his way at the end and like it finally like all that work. All that work. I watched got that scene. Off. I watched that scene of you and uh, Nadia kissing because you just <laughs> see Emily and I in the back like <laughs> because we genuinely had no clue what was going that on. Was, we didn't know that what was like they were filming, so, so real. That was genuinely what you guys. That's did. what I'm saying. Like people were like, "Did you? Was that like really no, fake?" And I was like, was "No, they genuine. didn't. They didn't tell us what we were filming." So we were just like, "We." I don't think we were listening. And all of a sudden they're kissing, and I was like, Whoa. "We were like, wait, what? This was in the script?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like for the most challenging thing. It was just kind of like having to be that kind of sweet person as well and then just to not get your way. So to portray that too, it kind of like, I was like, dang, I can kind of relate to it so I can have to portray it. So not saying it was 
Hard, it was difficult though, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So JB Orlando Illy writes, for the girls, do you guys think that your character changed for the good or for the bad because you guys weren't the same as you were in the beginning of the season? I think my character changed for the better um, just because she had no friends, she was super lonely, super sad. In the first episode you can see how like happy Cassie was as a little kid with like all of the girls. So it was just like really good to see Cassie actually be back with her best friends and um, just pick up where they left off because obviously there was a lot of drama involved. I like hated all of you at one second. So like for good reason. For good, <laughs> yeah, for good reason. I think our characters changed a lot, especially between the first season and the final season because we were going through high school. I feel like we all like developed as like our our characters just like found themselves again because I feel like. Between like season three and four, we were all a little lost. I don't know. I feel like we were just floating yeah. through the hallways. Well, I also feel like a lot of kids can relate to that as well, like in high school, because I'm sure from like middle school to high school, like you are not friends with the same people. You find your own group. Mm -hmm. And in real life, we were growing up too. Like mm -hmm. even when we were filming, like we were growing up as people too. And like you can see yeah. that. And we could learn a lot from the show. I think we should talk about the real character development. My hair length, come on. Okay, tell me why Morgan changed her hairstyle like five times. In uh, tell me how my hair was a different color in every episode, but I can talk about it. <laughs> Keep my hair lighter or darker? Darker. 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 I like it light. Next question is from Our Dreamings, and they ask, what was the funniest moment to film? Literally the entire show. You can watch the bloopers and see every funny moment. Okay, I actually have a good answer for this one, I think, because I don't know if any of you guys watched the Total Eclipse season five bloopers, but there was one scene that for some reason we couldn't stop laughing in and it was all of the girls in the scene. And I think it was because Divinity was trying to say matcha. <laughs> I don't even really remember what we were laughing about, but it was really funny. Today we're talking matcha. Matcha, 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 matcha. Go find matcha and say I gotcha. I think two of my like, the scenes that we were filming that was the funniest for me was the dance scene when I was getting arrested and all of you guys were like <laughs> reacting. Yeah. And also, that was so random. You just like got arrested in the first season. I forgot that happened. I know, I forgot. I remember in season one, Kenzie and I had like just met, and I had to trip you. <laughs> I had a headache, and we had to do it so many times, and she kept falling on the concrete. And she's like, "You're like, do you want like a mat or something?" She's like, "Yeah, yeah, I do." <laughs> After like seven takes, and like, it was like, actually want a mat? It was like, yeah, one of our first day meeting too. It was really awkward, and I just had to trip you so many times, and I was like, "I'm really sorry." <laughs> The next question is from JV Orlando Illy, and they ask, fave embarrassing moment of the cast. I like don't get embarrassed around these people. I don't. Yeah, like if we do something embarrassing with each other present, like it's not embarrassing, we just laugh at each other. It is funny. We all find it funny. I do remember there was one scene where I was in my princess dress and I had to like break a broom. And oh. I, I could not break the broom. And like Chris, the director, was like trying to help me. He like would do it so easily. And I was like, I can't do it. And he had to break it for me. And it was really embarrassing because I'm that weak. I couldn't break the broom. It took like 30 minutes. It was really bad. Enough of this madness. The next question is from at gem1lys. And they ask, what was everyone's favorite chip? <gasps> I go first. I go first. Diggy and Nadia because sure. that's all of ours. I said I won't be on this season if Diggy and Nadia don't kiss. If they don't kiss, I'm not on it. So you can thank Kenzie for that. So <laughs> it had to happen. <laughs> it was all of our favorites. We were all obsessed with them. We were all rooting for it. The next question is from Daniela or Love, and she asks if you had to play one other character on the show, who would you play? For me, I would probably want to play Nadia just because I like how she's a fashion designer. She always has the best clothes. Like her outfits are always yeah, the best. Yeah, so cool. And I think she just has, like she's a cool character. So I, cause I don't like ever hate her in the show. Like I feel like, yeah, she's just, just kind of clueless. She plays games, but she's also just dumb in the show. So like I would want to be her. I feel like that would be fun. She's not dumb, not Nadia. Nadia's very smart, I'm saying her character. Yeah. Don't even turn that on me, Diggy. I saw I you was it. She's kind of stupid. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> she's not stupid, she's smart no. and beautiful. I love so Nadia. Nadia was very clueless. Cool. For your information. <laughs> um, probably oh, Logan's character. <laughs> okay. I just always want to be an evil witch. <laughs> I feel like that'd be so fun. <laughs> That's really fun. He was like so mysterious. And every scene he'd just come in and like, he's like weird and like, 
and he was a witch. That's so. Oh, he'd be so he was good. A, he was so that. different. His character was so different from his personality. Yeah, I know, and I think that'd be so fun. So. Yeah, he was always just standing there, like. Was yeah, it was great. I want to be him, Luca. Okay. Um. Definitely, I would probably want to play Dan. I don't know. You were a little. It was mean, but it was. It looked fun. I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was fun. fun. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like that. I don't know. Yeah, and you. I don't know. Woo! I picked it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna have to agree with uh, Divinity. I would want to play Diana. I thought it's pretty, just her character and then the fact that she got to go through multiple levels of exactly. herself as a teenager. I thought it was really cool. She was evil, then she had anxiety and was still kind of stuck up but just trying to find herself and then she became a, a really nice, just genuine human being and she kind of found mm -hmm. out and she's like, oh, I don't have to be a jerk to anyone. So. And then Emily, she's an amazing actress. So, you know, she played yeah, Emily, you you did it so like, So are you. Oh my she God. It. No, she it. you guys are all amazing. She carried it. And yeah. then that character was just so opposite of you, but you literally like carried it off. Yeah. Oh my God. I just like, I don't think I could ever play Di Diana because she was so mean. And I'm like, I can't be, I can't be mean to any of you. So like, I don't know how I would do that. I feel like I'd just laugh. I'd like channel the, the And I'd be like, demons. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did do that sometimes. Yeah, you did apologize every time you tripped me, so I appreciate it. But then that. once we got close, I just laughed. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I don't care that I tripped you. Um, I love you guys. It was really nice. Love you all. The next question is from at Milo's Love Bug, and they ask if there was an alternative ending for Sam, what would it be? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder <laughs> what, what they it would want be. You to say. <laughs> Kenzie, what do you think it would be? Probably that I go with him to <laughs> go on tour, but guess what, guys? It didn't happen. It didn't oh, happen. No. What are you gonna what do? What are you gonna do? Maybe he would have just stayed and did school. I think, <laughs> forget <laughs> all of that. Here's the alternative ending for Sam, right? He gets off all the boys, even the ones that weren't in the other seasons, you feel me? He gets all the boys. They start a boy band, travel to Japan, uh, they're headlining <laughs> K-pop stars, you feel me? They went to Korea. You really thought about this. He really went into detail. Spin off. They come back to Mill One, they all settle down and they start a farm. Now it's called Total K-pop. Meets farm life. Meets farm life. <laughs> That'd be a hit. <laughs> the next question is from at Michelle one zero eight, and she asks, "What was it like filming this last season?" Terrible. We all hated Terrible. each other. I hated it. Was it. Awful. Dude, his body's oh, his lips is yeah. not the business. First of all, why did everyone stop when I was talking? <laughs> no, no. Honestly, for me, it was. Really, <laughs> I thought you were being genuine. I was like, no, it was actually really sad for me because I know I. You guys pretty much filmed all of your like scenes with each other at. Mm -hmm. um, juniors and stuff, but I was only in one scene with you guys. And then after that, COVID happened and I had to film everything by myself. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't fun for me. My last scene that I did was by myself. I was in, I was at my house filming at the scenes and I was like, awkward. I was, like, I was on set. I filmed with Sage and Isaac, but other than that, I was by myself and it was not fun. Like we couldn't have like, like a rap party for the end of the show. Like we couldn't Well, cause we usually like, Sometimes you guys would all come over and we'd watch the show. But... I remember that. Oh my gosh. We should do that soon. Like when it's all over, we can all just rewatch the whole show. Just have a marathon. That'd be so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate all the love and support you guys give us. Thank you guys for joining us on our journey through the years. Thank you for all the great questions. We love you guys so much. Yes, you guys literally grew up with us. It was very special and you guys got to see our friendship grow as well. And thanks for being so into the show and so enthusiastic about it. You guys are so fun and you made it more fun for us. Yes, we love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.